Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a review of Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. So this book is basically about a girl called Ashlyn who can see fairies. Uh, she lives by three rules. Uh, rule number three is don't stare at invisible fairies. Rule number two is don't talk to invisible fairies. And rule number one is don't ever attract their attention. Unfortunately for Ashlyn, Keenan, the Summer King, has taken an interest in her and wants to make her his queen. So Ashlyn's rules will no longer protect her because Keenan will go to any lengths possible to make her his queen. So the reason I picked this one up was um, I'd seen a lot of good reviews for it and plus one of my friends was bugging me for ages to read this book um, because she said it was amazing and that I should just definitely read it when I get it. So I picked it up and I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would because of the good reviews and my friends saying it was amazing. Um, I thought it was average. It was okay. Uh, there were characters I liked, characters I hated. Um, yeah, so I just thought this was okay. I liked the main character Ashlyn, um, I liked how strong she was and I admired how she was able to ignore the fairies even though she could see them and when they were in her face and talking about her, I really admired how strong she was to be able to ignore them and not turn around and shout at them or punch them because that's something I probably would have done. She was just such a nice genuine naive character and I really felt for her and she was just a good character. I loved Seth. Seth was probably my favourite character out of this whole book, um, probably him and Donia, uh, but Seth was just such a sweet, nice, friendly character, just such a normal guy and he had these feelings for Ashlyn and she didn't seem to notice them and I felt really bad for him because he really cared about her. I just loved Seth. And then we had Keenan. I hated Keenan. I hated Keenan so, so much. I can't even express how much I hated him. He's such a controlling, pushy character. He was basically stalking Ashlyn throughout this whole book. He followed her everywhere. He joined her school so that he could follow her around and try to push her into being his queen. He was so arrogant and I really just wanted her to turn around and slap him. And I also really hated him for what happened to Donia. Even though it's kind of not his fault, but it is his fault it's at the same time. So I just didn't like Keenan at all. I did like Donia however. Donia was a brilliant character. She was just really friendly and nice after everything that had happened to her. I felt really bad for her because of her situation and it made me hate Keenan even more. Seeing how much pain she was in because she was so in love with him but she couldn't be with him because of what happened to her because of him. So yeah, I really liked Donia. I absolutely hated the romance in this book. The only romance I liked was Ashlyn and Seth because it was Ashlyn and Seth but then things got weird. Um, so we have Donia being attracted to Keenan but can't have in Keenan because of what happened. Uh, Donia kind of liking Seth. Uh, Keenan and Ashlyn having a kind of connection and an attraction to each other and then things happening with Donia and Keenan at the end I just kind of got really confused and I didn't like it. I didn't like how there was so much crossover between the relationships of these four people and it really creeped me out. <laughs> I just, I didn't like it at all. I don't see why it couldn't have just been so simple with just being two people that like each other and not four people that have feelings for each other. Sort of weird feelings and no. So the storyline in this one was just average. There wasn't anything spectacular that happened. There wasn't anything that completely grasped my attention. Um, it was basically just Keenan following Ashlyn about for the full book and trying to get her to become his queen so that he can overthrow his mother. That was basically the full book. And it wasn't that interesting. Um, I ended up giving this book 3 out of 5 stars. The only reason it got the extra star was because of Donia and Seth because of how amazing their characters were. I do have the second book Ink Exchange on my shelves. Um, I don't know when I will get around to reading this one but I will since it's there but it won't be at the top of my to read list. So that was my review of Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone!